What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob with my buddy Jeremy from Sipper's Social Club. What's up, everyone? How's it going tonight? We got something special today. We just keep bringing, like, I don't know. We can't keep it up. No, we can't no keep way. it up. But we're bringing another awesome, awesome, awesome bottle. Uh, cracking it tonight. Yeah. I mean, unless we want to be like, cre like credit card poor. <laughs> Hey, man, live in a box and drink well, you know? I guess, I mean, yeah. <laughs> There's, um, well, that's another conversation altogether. <laughs> that's all we're doing tonight, folks. This is the Gordon McPhail, Connors Year's Choice, Cast Strength, 31-year-old Mortlock. Well, that 54%? 54 on the dot. Yeah. Um, for... Those of you that are joining us tonight, we've already poured it out. So the glasses are over here on the side. As you can tell, it's open. I'll just show you guys so that you don't think we're scamming you here. <laughs> we got it right here. Um, and I think we might be surprising them with something special tonight, right? What do you mean? Um, <laughs> you were saying something about Jeremy and I split this bottle. Uh, expensive bottle we there's been a few offers of people like splitting like a sample like one ounce or whatever but we may or may not give a sample away tonight we're gonna give a sample away tonight we, <laughs> that's why you guys tune in right like yeah um we have high hopes for this one this one we spotted um and immediately we it kind of caught our attention yeah um it's limited to 200 bottles worldwide um just a single cask Mortlock, not too familiar with their distillery. I've heard just awesome things about their older whiskey. Um, so, yeah, we uh, we pulled the trigger on this one, got a decent deal, um, so made it happen. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not every day. I mean, just 200 bottles. Did, we, did you say that? Yeah, 200 time? bottles. That's all, they, yeah. that's all they made. So just 200 bottles, pretty much, like the entire, even if you have a ton of money, and unless this comes close to your vicinity, it's gonna be very difficult to acquire this bottle. Yes. Right. Yeah, we kind of jumped at it just because, um, you know, we we well we bought it before we even read a review, and we read one review that was just knocked out of the park. Um, and yeah, it's going it's going quick. Yeah. It is going quick. Yeah. It's um, already up on the auction sites, and uh, it's moving at a pretty high pretty high dollar value. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's check out who's in. The chat we got about 26 so far blue wing c left a message nice and early i'm not sure who that is jason coates in the house we got uh bbjap um verox what's going on buddy mike snook tony di tomaso insectica hey what's up <laughs> donner pass whiskey trenny and c hey what's going on guys which one's that oh it's trenny he says all right Cool. Nice to see you, Trenny. Trenny uh, did a little strip tease for us over the weekend. I don't know. Oh, if you, really? Did you catch that? No, line? I didn't hit that. Oh, oh that was pretty funny. Gotta watch that. Night. Loch Ness in the house. What's up, Rich? I know, right in the middle of the Lee Sabres game. Trust me, we're both <laughs> we're both kind of uh, debating, but we this was the only day we could connect. And I mean, I think the Leafs would understand with this bottle. <laughs> yeah, um, go Leafs. <laughs> just, real, just real quick, Nylander, What do you yeah. think? You know what? I, I think it was a good deal. I think if they would have, even if they hit the seven million dollar mark cap wise, I would have been really upset. Yeah. And like he's, I mean, I don't think he's a six million dollar player yet, but I think by the end of this contract, he'll be probably worth ten million dollars. So yeah. it's a good contract. I didn't like the whole deal, but I'm just, I'm glad they got it signed. And I mean, the team is just going to be so good. Yeah. And I mean, they're already pretty much unreal. Yeah, so okay, enough hockey talk. For enough now. hockey talk. <laughs> um, go Habs in the house. What's up, buddy? <clears throat> I'm sure he loved that conversation. <laughs> yeah, auto thumb down. Yeah, Kevin Mayato. What's up, buddy? Um, I think I got more. Oh, the mash and drum, Jason. What's going on? What's up, Jason? So, Jason and I are doing a little switch. Um, uh, little sending, uh, wipe swap. Yeah, well, no, not quite, but uh, I'm sending him over this bad boy right here. Nice. 
and he's sending me the distillery only or like very select places in the U.S. are selling the JD. Uh, it's a bottled in bond, I guess. It's fifty percent. Jack Daniels. The new one. Okay. The it's a heritage. He, he, he reviewed, reviewed it. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, I saw reviewed. that. Yeah, I saw that. So as soon as I saw that, I was pretty pumped and like, sure, we got to make this happen. Yeah. So, um, pretty excited for it. And he was saying that he wants us to go live on his channel or vice versa. He comes on our channel. Okay. Cool. Or you know, and then the three of us would be on at the same time. Which awesome. Is, yeah. And do that whiskey or just anything. That whiskey, I think. Um, like he's sending us some shirts, and there's gonna be a little bit of like, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah, so it'll be fun. We got Patrick Hogue in the house. I don't think I've seen Patrick before, but very nice to see you, buddy. Hillbilly Select Reviews, what's going on? Uh, Catherine Bono, what's going on? Peter White's in the house. <laughs> Narby and Mikey Light. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. We inspired to that, so they, yeah. that's a compliment. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll take that any day. Those guys are are, 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 are uh, whiskey reviewing idols. They are. They are. Um, and then, yeah. So I think I said, oh, Joshua, Troy, what's going on, buddy? And Tim, what's up, buddy? Long time no see. All right. So we got quite the crowd already in here, 32 yep. people. Awesome. We have the Mortlock, Gordon McPhail, 1987, 54% cast strength, 31 years old. Um, if you haven't. Seeing the bottle, that's what it's like. And this is not a camera trick. It's black. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> it black. That was part of what enticed us to buy this bottle. Uh, we've heard a lot about Morlock. We haven't tried many. Have you tried many? No, I've tried one other indie bottle of Morlock, and I can't remember what it was. Yeah. So neither of us have tried that many, but we saw the color on this. We know We've known from experience that Gordon McPhail just – keeps hitting out balls like out of the park pretty much um so we figured this has to be incredible and mortlock gets a lot of buzz from whiskey nerds yeah of, absolutely. Um, their older stock is just apparently amazing like anything bottled you know early vintage is good stuff so yeah and jason fisk says crude oil from the west and yeah. that's uh right. actually no pun intended because yeah. that's actually where we located <laughs> these bottles <laughs> This is the box that came in. It's um, it's a nice box, but it's nothing over the top. Nice little like magnet. Mm -hmm. It's opener. nice for a Gordon McPhail. Like the other ones that I have that are not cheap either. Cast strengths as well. Um, twenty four years old. Both of them. They came in that that like hard cardboard, right? So this is an upgrade for sure. But I mean. I'm not really complaining about the box because I'd rather them spend less on the box. I actually, the choice of bottle that they, you know, this this bottle is a little wider, a little shorter than the the other options, and it, I love it. I love this bottle. I yeah, think it's gorgeous. It's nice and shorter, fatter. Just screams kind of high class. It's good stuff. All right, so to kind of get us started on the night, Jeremy's concocted. Why don't you tell them about it? Actually. Okay, so <laughs> I'm into like, you know, blending my own whiskey, just messing around kind of thing. So I took some Macallans. I took um, just the two ounce jar. And in this two ounce jar, I put 50% Macallan 18 year old, 25% Macallan cast strength, like the old cast strength, and 25% Macallan 12 year old sherry. So that's it. So I haven't even tried this yet. I kind of just wrote down. So by my math, this is going to equal six or sorry, a uh, forty-six point eight percent ABV and are roughly like eighteen years old, which sounds like an amazing Macallan, right? I'm pretty stoked. We were joking earlier, like this is the recipe for Macallan M or something <laughs> like that. Um, there's a few of my friends in the chat. I just want to show them something right over here. Uh, that means get danked on if you're not familiar. <laughs> get danked on. That's that's a it's a term. The young kids are using these days. So now, see when you did that when I was growing up, you gotta you got like, punch. You gotta well, <laughs> you, got you gotta break it or, or get punched right. in the face or no, in the shoulder. <laughs> Such a weird cultural thing to do. Yeah, this smells amazing though. It's it smells. It, great, it, smells it? it smells like Macallan for sure. Trying to see, uh, Linkwood Fifteen is incredible, and it is honestly. I love that Linkwood Fifteen. The Gordon yes. McPhail. That's absolutely good and great price too. Yeah. That's one of the go-to Gordon McPhail's. Mm -hmm. um, 
they have a 1984 that they just released with this. Yes. That yes. I'm dying to find because yes. it's my birth year and there's a whole bunch of reasons why I want it, but it's probably a small fortune. Yeah. And if you can't find it on the shelf, it's going to be crazy money in the secondary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this McAllen is good. I mean, like, <laughs> hey, the, <Malton>. num <laughs> the number of the Rob <laughs> Malton in Montreal in the house. Thanks for the super chat, brother. I really appreciate it. Six six six. Mark of the beast. Yeah, we don't have a lot of sixes going tonight. We just have the one in the background, which kind of can't see because of the lighting. We usually, have a hat, and it makes like the yeah the three connection. <laughs> Try to have. Even numbers, <laughs> even number of sixes in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at 37. Uh, I'm going to take a sip of this, McCallan. It smells amazing. Yeah. Wow. It's like an, it reminds me a little bit of like a McCallan edition number one. Yeah, it's got that like it's got that typical McAllen like fruity like really fruit forward um, prunes and dates mm. and figs and raisins. Yeah, I'm gonna just adjust this really quick. Grow okay like that. A rash is in the house. What's up, buddy? <clears throat> is there anybody I missed? I think I got everybody. Verox, Blue Wing, they both, so this Get Danked On thing, they're both um, all about that, and they just got danked on, so it was pretty cool. Um, my bourbon journey, what's going on, Scotty? Nice to see you, man. Scotty, what's up? Peter White saying, I have a few of those Gordon McPhail 2008 Bunna cast strengths. Wow, that, those are, that's one I tried, actually. I think Peter White gave me a sample of that. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Claire the Third is saying classic cut question mark. Um, it's how does it compare to classic cut? It's so I, different. The new classic cut is I I, I always say it's very um, licorice forward. Okay, it's got like this licorice note to it, whereas this doesn't have that. This this drinks more like a higher ABV eighteen year old, to be honest with you. And kind of that's what it was. I mean that. 25% cast strength really boosts it up. Mm -hmm. But no, for the classic cut, the 2018 classic cut, I got a lot of like baking spice in that one. So um, for those of you that don't know, Steve Fish was just asking, um, he's saying, which McAllen? So this is a McAllen blend, a blend of McAllen, so to speak. So it's one ounce Mac 18, a half ounce of mask um, uh, McAllen uh, cast strength, which is the old cast strength. And then half ounce of Macallan 12 Sherry Oak. Yeah. And then the calculation is about 46.8% um, alcohol by volume. Thank you very much, a Whiskey Throttle, for the super chat. I appreciate it, buddy. Daniel, cheers. Thank you. Whiskey Throttle is um, – he's a Patreon. He's – sent me some like crazy bottles over the years yes and the guy's got a i just i love when he goes live because it's raw it's great he's got an incredible collection you get a glimpse of his uh his whiskey collection each time and it's it's growing yeah it's, it's pretty awesome it's growing onto the floor yeah <laughs> so check him out if you guys haven't already whiskey throttle and then earlier the guy that uh super chatted me earlier his name is swami he's got a youtube channel called malted in montreal if you guys are unaware of which i'm sure you're aware by now he does great reviews as well so check him out we got uh, james c in the house what's up brother james c is the gentle giant you gotta meet this guy oh you met this guy yes james. you met him yeah. yeah yeah super cool guy and then uh santa cruz in what's going on man nice to see you my Bourbon Journey also has a channel, and earlier you guys saw the Mash and Drum, which we talked about because he's going to be going live with us. This so is really nice. Now I'm getting that like that awesome like grape note that I get in the cast rank, which I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. So I just poured these all together.
just in a sample jar. This has been sitting untouched for about two weeks or so. I'm wondering if you left out the 12 year olds and just did 50 50 cash strength oh, and yeah. 18. What would happen? It'd be awesome. Because I, I had the, I just popped the bottle of the eight, uh, the 12 year old, sorry, uh, this weekend at my dad's birthday at my mm -hmm. parents' house. Uh, just to share with the family, just I had an I think I got that bottle and trade with you. Um, so it's a great every day or great yeah. whiskey for I mean you can still find it for under sixty bucks American some places. Oh yeah, um, which is awesome. And there's some of that in this, like you get that McAllen characteristic for sure. But this is just amped up, mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool. All right. Should we start nosing the goods or what? I love that. <laughs> Jeremy's not ready, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not ready. So I don't know about you. I, and like, I don't know if I spoke to this when we opened up this uh, Glen Going 30 over here. And I'm, I've am i gone back to the Glen Going 30, and I still – I think I love it even more than I loved it that night. I'm sure, yeah. But um, there's a little bit of anxiety that comes with opening up a bottle like this. And that's why so many people that yeah. buy expensive bottles never open them. They end up like leaving them in their stash forever. Yeah, because the value is gone. And then if you don't like it, then it's just a really expensive cocktail maker, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, obviously, when you buy a bottle that's you know thirty years old, you're expecting a lot. You're expecting it to be an epic whiskey. The expectations are through the roof when you're spending. I would say anything north of 150. Well, for like let, in general, when you're spending north of 300 bucks, oh yeah, um, you expect a lot. You expect a lot. Yeah. And for some that spend north of 50, that's a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Like not everybody can afford. And there's great whiskeys to be bought at at 50. So when you're comparing, it's tough to do that. Like there's yeah so many factors that go into this. But uh. That being said, it's just it's an anxious moment when you're about to nose and taste for the first time. Uh, Fisk is asking about the sipper shirt. Yeah, it is. A, I do have a, a well, I do have a couple. Let me know if you want one. Yeah, really nice shirt. Um, is this spread shirt or? No, it's um, it's a Toronto based company called Elephant Shirt. I gotta find out what brand of shirt they use because I gotta read this thing when I take it off. It's a comfortable shirt. Right? It's a very comfortable yeah. shirt. Yeah, and it's their like premium. Premium fitted tea. This is, good. But it's, can you just ensure that you sent me a medium men's shirt? That's, <laughs> that's extra, extra small child shirt. <laughs> it's a medium <laughs> men's. Oh, no, whatever. Let's not get into that today. All right. I'm going to nose this bad Let's boy. Let's go. Here we go. Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> it's so good. It's everything that I want. It's like, super concentrated oh it's just rich i like i mean i don't know if you guys watch my channel you know like rich rich whiskey especially rich sherry whiskey oh my god and we didn't we didn't mention this this is a second fill cask this is a refill cask yeah. yeah this is a refill cask to get that color i mean how is that even possible it smells like it'd be first fill smells like it'd be first fill like I, there was a the the review that we read so i don't want to take any credit for this but the review that we read joked about like it being a refill cask and how like whatever was in it before was like for five minutes yeah right? yeah like, he's like well, what was it in there for like a couple of weeks right like literally i literally think they just like rinsed it off with some whiskey <laughs> and then they considered this a refill because it's like that color alone and then the smell it's just crazy 30 plus yeah refill plus 30 years equals win i well i mean it all depends on the cask. This is a small cask, in my opinion. To, well, to only get 200 bottles at cask strength. Was it a sherry butt? I don't know if it says. But it they, they only got 200 bottles. But you can, I mean, evaporation, 31 hogshead. years. So that's the smaller one. A hogshead. A hogshead is a smaller a right. barrel. Um, yeah. Batch 18 slash 061. So... We've been talking, it seems like the channels have all been kind of talking a little bit about independence these days. Yes. Indie bottlers are, they're great, right? Because 
they bottle whiskey how it should be bottled non-chill filtered no color added cast strength a lot of times so they're presenting a whiskey from distillery how you'd want it to be presented from you know that distillery yeah this is great this is incredible this is the absolutely is, amazing like, stunning. like there's no burn whatsoever when you bring your nose close to the glass 54 percent, and you can inhale as deep as you want and not touch any alcohol note that's insane like the rich chocolate's coming out now no it's it's madness but like so there's a note that I can't quite pick out. It, it's like a, it's like somewhere between an espresso and a dark chocolate. Yep. Right. Like, my wife hates coffee, but every time I open up a new fresh um, bag of espresso beans to pour them into my espresso machine, she wants to smell it before I dump it in, uh, because that concentrated smell of espresso beans in the vacuum seal bag is incredible. And mm -hmm. honestly, that's what I'm getting out of this. Like that fresh. Uh, espresso bean smell with chocolate and then like there's some yeah. fruit there somewhere a little bit of, like hazelnut maybe yeah there's like a nutty I was almost gonna say like like uh, when you whiff like uh, a natural peanut butter like the ones you buy okay. from Costco yep you get like you just open it up and you get that whiff I mean the depth in this and the richness yeah this is everything you want in a sherry whiskey an older sherry whiskey so uh, Pardizel is saying that it's super dark. It reminds him of a Garrison Brothers cowboy bourbon. I haven't tried that myself. Uh, Trenny is saying you should have the bottle on view for people joining. Yeah, you're right. Uh, right here. Yeah, let's <laughs> should we stand it up? Yeah. Just flip that box on its side. Does that kind of get in the way? You can see, you can see most of the barrel. I can't see you in the shop, but can you see you in the shop? Yeah. Man, my God! Like, look at the color on that camera. Like, you cannot see through this. It's so dark. And the thing, like, that was one of the things that really enticed us to buy this bottle, right? Is that no? You couldn't. I didn't care about the color. I just knew it was old cast strength Mortlock, and All right. it was amazing. Well, I still buy a book because of the cool covers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just, just think with like with Gordon McPhail's reputation of their stuff and like what you read about Mortlock, 31 years old, absolutely amazing. Yeah. I've been meaning to buy Mortlocks, but they're they're fairly expensive, right? Like the 18-year-old is like 300 bucks in Ontario. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's everything you want on the nose. So Hold Swath is asking how much at the LCBO. This isn't at the LCBO, and I do not think they'll ever get this. I am shocked that Alberta got so many bottles of this, considering there's only 200. Right. Alberta got, what, like three cases? I think it was about three cases, yeah. yeah. And Which is crazy, considering the output's only 200 bottles, and Alberta, you know gets uh what's that like 10 percent then i can nose this forever that's the one thing okay so if you're buying a quality whiskey if you're buying an older whiskey mm. that's sherry aged or not even doesn't have to be sherry aged like that bow blair back there that 30 year old bow blair um the 83 the famous 83 that a lot of people know about you can nose them forever and pick out like a different note each time you bring your nose to that glass. Yeah. Like almost every single time. And this whiskey doesn't smell tight. Like it might be tight and it might open up in the bottle like more and more and more, but it doesn't smell tight to me right now. No, it's, it's pretty opened up in my opinion. Like, yes. Yeah. It's... And it's been sitting for half hour more or less. Yeah. About that. It's one of I like I'm almost afraid to take a sip because like the nose is so good I don't want that to be damaged. A lot of times the nose you'll get more than the palate. So 
I don't want to jinx it, but like when when a palate's better than a nose and the nose is already like substantially good, that's like that's, le- legendary that's status. Epic, epic levels. Yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. This reminds me of a whiskey, but now I can't pin, like pinpoint it. I just honestly, I commend Gordon McPhail because I have not had a bad one, and their cask selection is just phenomenal all the mm-hmm. time. It kind of it's almost unfair because an independent bottler has the opportunity to go to various distilleries and choose the one that they want mm-hmm. or the whiskey, whatever they want. You yeah. know that cask. Whiskey Throttle's back. He got a, a work call earlier. Thanks for rejoining. Brian Page in the house. I didn't see you earlier, buddy. Leafs up one nothing and Matthew hey, scored. This guy nice. is on pace to score like a goal a game, I think. Oh, it's insane. I love Matthews. He's so good. I'm a huge Marner fan. Like I've always been a Marner fan. The moment I found out, like when they did that lottery ball thing, that we weren't getting McDavid, I was like, all right. I'm all about Marner. Yes. Like, I want Marner. Marner He's be amazing. is so good. Um, I used to live in London, Ontario, and he played for London Knights in OHL, junior hockey. And you just saw the progression of that guy from when he first joined the team to when he got drafted in the NHL. And you could just tell, like, his playmaking ability is just it's insane. Unbelievably. I, honestly, I've made the bold claim, like, before that he's the best playmaker in the NHL. And I'm going to stick by that because he's proving it. He's proving my words from last year now. Go have to say Matthew sucks because he's clearly <laughs> jealous. Um, it's all good, man. Whiskey Throttle saying, it reminds me of whiskey. How how profound, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, yeah. What did I say? I said it reminds me of a whiskey, but I couldn't point for it. <laughs> <laughs> this whiskey tastes like whiskey. It's got like... Like the common like tasting notes or smelling notes on a like old Sherry's Leather prunes mm-hmm. it's got all that yeah but it's like amped up like next level stuff it's all very well balanced yeah just like like almost like um like raw cocoa powder too yeah absolutely are we going in for a sip or what i mean i don't know you could just you could notice this forever and never be dissatisfied I wonder if that's going to make these guys dissatisfied <laughs> at some point. What's going on in the chat? What are those guys saying? Yeah, so we got we got a lot of activity going on right now. Uh, quite a few of the regulars. What's going on, everybody? It's nice to see you. It's like watching two crackheads. Honestly, I yeah. feel like a crackhead when I'm smoking yeah. this because it's like... <sighs> unreal. Sniff, sniff, sniff. <laughs> All right, go in for a sip. Scotch heads. I like that better, Chris. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> the ABV is 54%. We're going in for a sip. Hey, train C. Whoa, the big super trap. Man, that's too much. You're way too kind, brother. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, I don't know if you're familiar with train C. I'm not sure how you can't be. They have as much subscribers as I have. They've been doing it. Uh, they got they started like a little bit after me i think a couple months like maybe two or three months after me um they've been doing a great job they're the funniest reviewers by far out of everybody in my opinion uh so if you like a little bit of comedy plus two guys that really know what they're talking about check out train and see super cool guys i love their like uh plinko plinko games yeah they did one they did that in the live yeah yeah yeah. okay i gotta rewatch that because i only saw a bit of it but i want to see that that's always a really cool game and they wear plaid and hats like me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a plaid shirt that I rock every once in a while. Too. <laughs> you do not. I do. I do. I, it was recent. Uh, all right. I'm going for a sip. There's like a peanut butter brittle note in there. I have to get that out there. Peanut oh, butter brittle. Yeah. All right. I mean, like, I just feel like on the nose, just on the nose, it's the best whiskey i've ever noticed before and it's my style Ooh. if this is my style i want like big heavy bold sherry whiskey I don't know. 
<laughs> okay, so we were gonna sell a couple of drams to our friends to like help pay for this ex expensive bottle, but now are we gonna do it? It's like, sorry guys, you're out of luck. This is all for us. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like. Okay. My God. So, like um, like a gun, a gunpowder smoke, like after the gun's been fired. All right, I don't know if too many people have smelt that before, but if you have, that there's like this that little hint of it on the palate, rounds out with this like deep dark chocolate note, espresso, and like this like firewood, but not not peaty, just like barrel fire. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like almost as if this was like a char five barrel. Yeah. Man, that's incredible. I get everything you just said, and like I get orange peel and like orange oil and like a little bit of like lemon oil too. Yeah, there's definitely a citrus note to it for yeah. sure. Yeah, and like when I think Christmas, I think like my my parents, my grandparents, they always had uh, like um, mandarin oranges, like the little tangerine that like size mm -hmm. oranges. Like, yep. So like peeling that not quite tasting it yet but getting that aroma that's what i'm getting yeah man wow well, i'm blown away wow so these guys have been talking quite a bit on the chat and i apologize for not like following along but i'm just i'm lost i took one sip and i'm still tasting it What, what lingers the most is that barrel char that it's still going. <laughs> Danny was like, I've never heard a pound cake uh, tasting note before. Because the other day I said pound cake. Uh, I forget which one whiskey it was. Oh, it was the um, was something Pete. Oh, it was the, uh, the Springbank 12 Burgundy. But then you bring it up, man. This is legendary. This... Okay, listen, that, that Glen Goyne 30 is incredible. I, this might be next level, like, beyond that. Like, I, I don't know how that's possible. Well, I do, because this is a single cask, and that's probably, I don't know, 100 casks-ish. Mash and Drub and Jason, thank you so much. Cheers, fellas. Cheers, Thanks Jason. for sharing the rare bottle with us. Cool virtually yeah honestly thank you buddy really appreciate the, the uh, super chat bbjap is saying bonkers i'm gonna let jeremy take this one away <laughs> absolutely this is bonkers this is like top top level bonkers like think of all the sherry whiskeys you've had in your life mm -hmm. every time i take a sip of one i'm thinking man this is so good but right man this is so good but if only this or yeah. but if only that or but i can't think of a but here there's not a flaw in this whiskey finish super long ever so slightly drying but at the same time it i don't know it's like it's weird it's like drying but not drying it's at the, the same right time. amount of drying right Yeah, it just like the it just slowly dries your palate, like very very minutely over like sixty to ninety seconds, and then you're just left with like it's a tad bit of oak, and then all those like dark fruits, chocolates, so a little good. bit of citrus. It's way too good. Yeah, it is way too good. It's like we're not worthy of drinking this. I honestly, like, I almost feel bad that I'm drinking this. Like, right. It's like we don't deserve it. There's people that have been drinking way longer than I have. Yeah. That I have not found a whiskey like this yet. Right. And I almost, I, like, I feel for you. It's like, it's like those people that waited 50 years for the least to win the Stanley Cup and passed <laughs> away before. <laughs> like, that's kind of what this feels like <laughs> at this moment. Ugh. It's crazy. It's crazy. 
It's so good. It's crazy. It is so good. Jason, Jason is saying, smash that like button. So, Whiskey Throttle is saying, wait till you try some of the SMWS uh, Mortlock. Mm. Man, I, we I, have to source all the Mortlock we can now, right? I think so. Because I think we started we, start, we started with something like crazy from Mortlock. Yeah, like how do you go down from this? Like, you can't go down. We're not going to have a choice. We're going to have to go down. But maybe not. Maybe there's better Mortlock out there. Right? I mean, you read about Mortlock and like everyone's like loves, loves old, old Mortlocks. Yeah. And this one is just brand new on the market. So, so I'm glad. Okay. And here's a bit of a disclaimer. I was told not to buy two of these. They're like, not because they tried it, but they're like, go easy, you know, save that money, go to Scotland, whatever. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't listen. <laughs> I'm glad. Like, as much as I'm like, man, they, they make a valid point. I should listen to what they're saying. That's logic. I didn't listen. And I'm happy, actually, that I didn't well, listen. Here's the thing about buying multiple bottles of something that you anticipate being really, really good is that if you think it was, you know, if you have buyer's remorse, you can always get rid of that bottle you paid at least for equal value. You're not going to exactly. lose any money whatsoever. No. And most likely you're going to be making money. Yeah. <laughs> Rabbit in red. Logic is for suckers. <laughs> yeah. You know what, man? I'm with you. Uh, with who was it that said that you only regret what you don't buy? Whiskey Hunter. Whiskey Hunter from Scotch Attic. He had the philosophy down right. Yeah. P Boss is saying no need for water. <sighs> no. no. Zero percent. I, I would not add a drop to this. I mean, maybe just to try it out with a dropper when you're down a little bit, but yeah, yeah. But you see in the house, what's up, buddy? How's it going, man? So we're at 43 viewers. What's a what's a quiz question that's worthy of a hmm. sample of this? You guys, better, you guys better get on your keyboard ready for this because whoever wins this sample. And again, I'm going to take a picture of of the screen. So it, it's the first to pop up on our screen. Unfortunately, it's not the first to pop up on your screen, the first to pop up on anybody else's screen. It's going to be the first to pop up on ours. I'm going to move this just because we need to uh, communicate a little bit with the chat now. Um. This thing's rather loud for some reason. Just take a screenshot. It's, uh, you know how to do that on a computer? Yeah. Um, Shift Command 4 or something, or Alt Control Command 4 does a screenshot. So, if you were at a bar, $1,000 bottle, roughly, um, we paid a little bit less than that. We got a good deal on these. Yeah. I saw them at auction. What were they going for an auction? 800 British pounds plus auction fees. So you're looking at about 1600. Canadian. You're looking at about, you're looking at about 900, almost, almost 900 pounds after everything's said and done, which is like what? 1300 American, which is like, what's the conversion rate on 900 pounds. It's gotta be like 1500, uh, almost, no, almost 1700. I would say, hold on. Let's, let's check that out. It's like, it's like 15 to $1,600. 900. 1,400. GBP. Yeah. To CAD. Come on now. Go. Awfully slow right now. We did very well on the bottle considering yeah. the aftermarket value, which is already, which is already catching. And once more and more reviews come out with this, like if, if Surge from Whiskey Fun reviews this and gives it a high mark, look out. Yeah. So 1,517 Canadian dollars. Right. 900 pounds. So we paid a little more than half that, a little less than, yeah, we paid about half that. So we did pretty well. Yeah, we did all right. Huh. 
<laughs> still crazy. You know, know what also is crazy at UK auctions? Mac Edition 1, 750 British pounds. That's crazy. That's insane. Like, this fetches the same price as Macallan Edition 1, which is a $100 bottle and drinks like a $100 bottle. I would say it drinks like a $200 okay, bottle. Okay, it drinks like a $200 bottle, but still. This is just different league. What's the question? Trenny's dying. <laughs> <laughs> you better think of something good. I know. I'm trying, man. I'm like, that's tough. <laughs> What's the name of the channel? <laughs> Everyone's just like breaking their keyboard trying to answer. All right. You know what? I think like we said that we shouldn't add water to this. I don't know. Maybe water would just like really open it up maybe what, what i'm afraid water will do to this is that finish like that tail end that i really like that like kind of charred note i think what water is going to do is make turn this a little more fruity less dark right. less like espresso less dark chocolate less like barrel char so i don't want to do that you know what I, I, mean? would, I would only do it if we had like the dropper and literally like one drop at a time just to see Okay, since we've been talking Mike and Narby, and Mike and Narby's mentioned again in the chat, and we are like <laughs> we Mike and Narby. We to be Mike and Narby. Yeah. We're, we're Mike and Narby little. Junior. Junior. Yeah. <laughs> Minor league, Mike um, and Narby. All right, here we go. What is the first review that Malt Reviews released? What was the whiskey that Malt, release, or that Malt Reviews released first? You know what it is? Yep. I've watched it like four times. I have to. So the first whiskey that Malt Reviews released to start channel. their channel. Crown Royal. No. <laughs> nope. That's not Crown Royal. This is good. This is good. I like it. Think think bigger. No. It was epic. It was beyond epic. So like something that I'll, I don't even think they make it anymore. Whiskey throughout saying who? <laughs> <laughs> malt Reviews. So a lot of guesses right now, but nobody's there. Nope. Not Balvini time. Unknown. That, no, it's, it's definitely out there. I've watched it myself dozens of times. <sighs> Not a Bowmore 64, although that was good. A rash. That is it. Down a rash got it. Dalmore 50. They did the Crystal Decanter, small little 200 ml uh, Dalmore 50 year old. A rash. Send your information to either me or Jeremy. Um, at whiskey in the six at gmail.com or super social club at gmail. Wow, that's epic! Congrats, man. That's good. That was huge. That was solid. And he had question marks because he was going by memory, he didn't actually like go search it, yeah. which is kind of cool. Johnny Walker Red, no, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> they won't have that on their channel. No. But if you haven't checked out Malt Reviews, they review epic, epic stuff. I think they're probably the only people on YouTube reviewing that high level of whiskey. Absolutely. Maybe um, whiskey.com does whiskey.com does some good stuff as well. He does, but he doesn't open most of these bottles. It's just like a sample. Right. It's like here's a sample and here's the actual bottle. Here's the bottle that I'm selling. This yeah. is the sample. The thing about Malt Reviews that I respect is that they they buy expensive old whiskey and they open it immediately and yeah. just like it's because, not just to like they don't care to make profit off of it they just want to drink it they're just so curious about how it is and like they're just they want that's I mean I feel like I'm kind of the same way like I'm so so curious about how this is going to taste that I would never just look at it on a shelf see I'm all about the two philosophy because I'm hoping that <laughs> one day I'll be rich enough that the backup bottles that I have are meaningless to me enough that I could just open them all and like whatever. Sure. Who cares? Yeah. But if I get one of anything, I always open it or I get rid of it immediately just because I can't justify mm -hmm. having that bottle on it, like yeah. in my possession. I can't stop nosing this though. Like the, the palette's amazing, the nose is incredible. I mean, you usually don't get this 
from a first crack. You know, usually you like you crack it and it's good, and then you have to wait for it to oxidize. You know, in a couple of weeks, then it gets like, well, way, way, way better. <laughs> P boss is saying start a bid for a sample. Yeah. I don't even know how I would start that. <laughs> What are you? What are we? What are we getting rid of these samples for? Starting price? I know, right? It's like, it's like what? I'm gonna sell it to my friends at cost, but now it's like, nope. Going, we're going well, like high class bar or restaurant. So cost now. on this was twenty six ounces. Twenty six ounces divided by. Uh, no, it wasn't twenty six ounces. No, it's not twenty six ounces because it's, it's seven hundred seventy cl. So I don't know how many ounces. How many ounces is that? There's thirty. Thirty milliliters to an ounce. So the so, so seven hundred so divided by thirty. So fifty. Sorry, fifty divided. No. So wait. Seven hundred divided by thirty. What is that? That's how many. That's how many ounces roughly. It's literally be. only two ounces short of that. So it's twenty four ounces. Twenty three point right. three three three. So let's say yeah. twenty three. 23 ounces, so 900 divided by 12. Oh, James C. Super chat. To the first time, Jeremy might be ahead of Rob <laughs> in the drinking race. I can't stop drinking it. <laughs> I can't stop drinking I it. I can't stop. Like, I don't want it to go away. Like, I'm afraid this is going to be gone. <laughs> I have a whole bottle behind me, but, like, we promised samples. Each pour is expensive, you know? Man, oh yeah. my god <laughs> it's ridiculous there's okay so here's here's a great debate question how many people out there would rather buy this so you could take a sample of any of the following this mccallan m brora 35 year old um let's say mccallan number six just because that's like in that category Shoot, what, what do you take? Me right now? Yeah. Since I've already had this, I would try the Bro 35 because I'm so interested to see what that I'm tastes like. I'm very interested in the Bro 35. Paulo. <laughs> but uh, honestly, I would I would take this over any of those NAS McAllen's with that or dope. I don't even think I said thank you to James. James, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate that. So a bunch of people are saying the Brora. Yeah. Catherine saying Brora. Kenneth is saying he loves coffee. If you love coffee, man, this is going to be like, yeah. you can replace this with coffee in the morning any day. <laughs> what are those little like chocolate wafer sticks? Like they're like, um, they come in a tin. This smells like that. Yeah, I know what you mean though. You know, like sometimes you put them in like a, they're like a straw, but like it's chocolate. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. They come, especially around Christmas, you get yes. them. Yeah. I love those, and this smells yeah, they're like they're delicious. God. And it's opening up more, too. Like, it's crazy. Some guy's display name is Crackhead64, and then Crackhead64's response was, no you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. Stuart McDonald's is wondering what we're pouring. Let me put it back up. That's what we're pouring right here. Um, potentially the best whiskey I've ever had in my life. Yeah, it's hard to say that because, because it's, it's one dram, but... Yeah. Well, that's why I said potentially. Yeah. It's almost a pretty safe bet, you know. So Santa Cruz in... Uh, received a special bottle or a special sample of a knock 1975 from somebody you yep <laughs> um cheers buddy enjoy because that's very good stuff as well that one's 39 years old this one's 31 years old i just can't figure out how they did this with a refill cask knowing what i know about whiskeys that are first fill mm -hmm. like first fill 30 years old like that's no joke and this has more sherry characteristic than that. Well, I would love to know what the first fill whiskey was, you know, and drink it. It's It was like a splash of Mordlock. That's why there's only 200 bottles of this, because they splashed it, dumped <laughs> it, and then, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Man. 
It's almost like I want to ask people yeah. what they're drinking tonight, but then it's almost like a douchey thing to ask at this point. <laughs> Paulo's right. He's saying, P Boss is saying he would take seven of these over one McAllen M. Yeah. In a heartbeat. And I honestly believe because there's only 200 bottles of this, and anybody that gets a sample of it will be hard pressed to buy one of these in auction. Mm. Um, this will eventually be more than $5,000, in my opinion. But then again, so will the McAllen M. So, well, I don't know. Are they, what's the, what's the numbers in the McAllen M? You know, like is they releasing it every year? I think is they it release one-off? it once every like so often. Mm-hmm. I think this is like the third release or second release of it. I'd be curious to try the McAllen M Black because that's peated. I thought the rare it was rare cast black. There's a rare cast black, and they just came out with like McAllen M. Black. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whiskey Throttle said he already told us what he was drinking. <laughs> yeah. I told you know what I had. I told P Boss to come in on a on this bottle with us, and he opted out. I think he's regretting it right now. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we purchased as many as we did. Yeah. And I don't know how many of those samples were actually selling. <laughs> yeah. I think we may sell four. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, I mean, you can, you, half of this bottle is yours, so you can sell as many of it, of, as many samples of it as you want, but I'm terrified to sell any of them, to be honest with you. Honestly, I mean, like, you guys want a sample, you need to, like, split one. You know, half ounce sample. <laughs> Whiskey Throw wants me to say what he actually said. And <laughs> he said, I already told you two ballers what I was drinking. Mm-hmm. In a like very Guido like way, because that's how he likes to talk when he's talking to me for some reason. <laughs> so Peter oh, White Peter is White. asking how this stacks up against the Tamatin 1982. Honestly, I think this is better. It's I, different. Um, that Tamatin 1982, I think it's more like tropical fruits. Um, anyway, that's my experience from the small sample that I had. This is more like rich. Um, like darker fruits, but that tomatin, I've been on the search for that tomatin, and I don't need to buy one of those because that is an epic, epic whiskey, yeah, and about the same price, yeah. This is about a hundred bucks more, hundred bucks more, but a lot less of this. I think I could be wrong, but I think this is a lot less of this. Trenny and C, Trenny's saying sharing is caring. I agree, mm-hmm. sharing is caring. Um, Whiskey Thrall is saying that he's drinking Yochi, uh, 26-year-old, which is probably an astronomically expensive bottle as well. Huh. Yeah, Peter White saying Nova Scotia 700. Right. Richie Z is finishing up his Deanston 10-year-old PX. Honestly, that stuff is phenomenal. I regret drinking that bottle so fast. Like, I gave that bottle away pretty much. Like, yeah. I gave about... Three quarters of that bottle away. Yeah, and by the time you wanted to get more, it was gone. It was gone. And yeah. thank God I got the last bottle at the LCBO. Yeah. I have connections in the LCBO, so that was lucky. Oh, um, before I forget, speaking of the LCBO. Oh, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. This Tuesday coming up. Um, so the one uh, obviously after right one now. One week from today. <laughs> <laughs> um, in Oakville, if you're able to make it, there will be a release of the single cask Highland Park that I personally chose for the LCBO. So if you hate it, it's my fault. <laughs> I only had three options. All three of them were amazing, to be honest with you. It's a single cask. I believe, I can't remember exactly, but I believe it's 13 years old. Cast strength, only 560 something bottles. So it won't fly off shelves. Like there's enough to go around in Ontario, it's an Ontario exclusive. Uh, but it's not going to last forever right. and it's not cheap either. It's going to be like 250 bucks. So, um, if you make it to that event, then you'll get to try it before you buy it. So, yeah, looking forward to it. I'll be there. Um, I know a couple guys from Toronto whiskey society are going to try to make it. Yeah. So it will be a good event. So if you're in the area, come on down. Yeah. Drink some free whiskey that Rob chose. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not sure what happens if like 300 people come knocking on the door. Well, they better crack a couple more bottles. 
Training C is saying, let's do a legit training C live stream. We can polish some heels. I agree. Mm, nice. We got to do that soon. I'll, Jeremy will come. It'll be the four of us. I think that'll be a pretty epic live. Which location in Oakville? James, I will send you that, um, sp the specifics on that because I'm not 100% sure. I, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's um, <clears throat> it's right by like 403 and something. Yeah. What's the score in the Leaf game? What do we got, guys? What's the score? So we're looking at around... Technically, like the cost on this is forty dollars a dram almost, right? For one ounce, forty bucks an ounce, um, which is insane. Hundred percent worth it. Totally worth it. If this was at a bar, what would a dram cost roughly? A um, hundred and seventy-five. Yeah, probably. I think more. More? I think more. Yeah. Usually, it's like what, like. Five percent. I remember. Or, sorry, five times the markup. Yeah, how about that? Or four. Like char number five was charging for a three hundred dollar bottle, a hundred dollars a dram. I was like, that's insane. That's that's crazy. Yeah. So they pay for the bottle in three pours, and then just profit after. Pretty much, yeah. Which is a lot of profit. See, there's a really good whiskey bar in Toronto called the Feathers Pub, and they have a lot. Of indie bottles and they charge a very reasonable price for them mm. like i had to give you an example uh 1974 ard bag bottled by gordon mcphail i think it was 55 bucks okay for a pour so here's this let's do this um it's going to be between the caledonian and the feathers pub whichever is open on december 28th because it's not going to be something official we'll just do you know what i tried to organize some stuff a lot of it fell through. I had, I felt like I had no right to charge my friends, um, my viewers, three hundred dollars a person to get into a elite place to try some whiskey. Not cool. Um, everybody's gonna pay to play their own their own way kind of thing. Um, we're gonna all meet up on December twenty eighth. I think that's a Friday night. Mm -hmm. Whichever of those two bars is open. Uh, we'll try to re reserve some spots if we yeah. can. Guys, stop by if you can. We'll we'll make the official announcement on our next live. I'm gonna call both of those those two bars uh, tomorrow, and we'll get it all set up by tomorrow. Okay. So the date was February uh, December 28th from the beginning. We're gonna keep it at that, and then whoever shows up to just say hello, we're gonna be there. Ideally, I think you're gonna be there. I'll be there. Um, maybe even our our better halves will be there as well. Uh, it'll be a night out. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Sure. Do we have another drink? Uh, drink of this? That's the question. <laughs> Ooh, I still got some left. So you end up. So I, you I did beat, beat you. I did beat you. <laughs> it's just too epic. I just kept taking smaller sips. Yeah, it's just it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, I'm still Unreal. tasting it. And it's, I had my last sip like five minutes ago. Really good stuff, guys. We're about an hour exactly, and we both finished our drafts. I, know. I think that's that's that, right? I think that's a good place to end it. Yeah. I think that's a good spot to end it. Um, you guys are awesome. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Thanks for the super chats. I really appreciate it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you can check out my channel. It's a uh, Super Social Club. Tomorrow, I'm releasing a video um, of um, a whiskey that I finished myself in a barrel. So it's uh, kind of like a entire process of uh, taking a barrel, seasoning it with some um, some port wine, letting that sit, dumping that out, putting in some. Uh, there it is, little um, Lagavu, an eight year old. And I kind of just finished that with some with a port barrel, and uh, it turned out really well. So yeah. I got that entire process start to finish. That video is going out tomorrow. So subscribe, uh, Super Social Club. Yeah, and um, this Friday, if all goes well, I will be putting up my 
recommendations for Christmas presents uh, this year. I did one last year. Uh, I saw a couple other whiskey reviewers did the same thing this year. I will do it again this year. Um, it'll probably come out Friday. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. If you haven't already, thumbs up or down. Let us know if we did a good thing or a bad thing tonight. Uh, let us know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> Santa Cruz is saying, Rob, don't forget to bug me about the gut. Uh, all right, man. You don't have to tempt me to do that. <laughs> um, thanks for joining, guys. There was quite a few of you in tonight. Really appreciated it. And you guys are all awesome. So thanks. Cheers. Cheers, guys.